Welcome back to Advancing Aid. I'm Beckett. This is my friend Misha. Hi. And Misha's here in our uh, storefront in Minnesota. We are doing our very first Gremlin collab box. If you haven't gotten your Gremlin collab, you really should. So the Gremlin box is going to be linked below. Misha owns the Queen of Tumblers. Her website will also be linked below. Misha, we're making a snow globe for the very first time, correct? Yes, that is correct. Are you nervous? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, tell them all about a little bit about how you got into making tumblers. Okay, I started about But you gotta stay in the frame, okay, bestie? <laughs> We're just gonna keep you here. I'm just gonna hold you still. We don't do YouTube and I've never had somebody in the studio before, so like this is what you get, okay guys? But this is Misha. Also her hair on point. She also flew in like a couple hours ago and we're going down to see Laura and Levi and Lindsay, mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow morning. So this is going to be a rush, but we're doing good. So anyway, Misha, tell, tell all of the gremlins, how did you get into tumblers? Well, someone introduced it to me and we thought it would be a great way to work through my anxiety during what was supposed to maybe, maybe not happen for the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> if you started tumblers in the pandemic, raise your hand in the comments. I did not because I started when my daughter was in the NICU, but same concept. It was just a year before. Mm -hmm. Pandemic babies, whole other brand of babies. Okay. So technically I'm not really a pandemic baby, but I'm on the cusp. Yes. So what's your favorite tumbler to make? I mean, do we have to have favorites? What's the, okay, what's the last Tumblr that you made? Swipe sir. Okay, okay, okay. So I know, cause we've talked about it. You don't want to do snow globes because you don't like sublimation and you think that they're complicated, right? Mm -hmm. So today's tutorial, so a gremlin box. Let me tell you about a gremlin box. We're going to, you're gonna get a 16 ounce snow globe. You can either choose to press it yourself, which I highly recommend you guys press yourselves or we'll press it for you which either way, Misha, and you're going to get to hear her and watch her mix all of her own glitters to go with this. She has her own design. She gets her own glitters. You can buy the Gremlin box or just her glitters. And then some of the proceeds are going to be donated to a charity of her choosing, which she's finding out about for the very first time. And we split all the proceeds of the Gremlin box. So that's what we do when we collab. We're very excited about it. So um, we're going to just what i'm not editing this out so you mind your business uh because she knows i'm a cry baby y'all i don't know why she she's it, doing this to me because it's fun um and i know if we told her in advance she'd tell me not to worry about it this is also true yes so <laughs> i like to teach she's never made a snow globe so what we're gonna do is teach misha how to do a snow globe. So this, this tutorial might be longer. I try to keep my tutorials around 15 to 20 minutes long and I edit some of my parts out. I'm going to keep this pretty much exactly how we do it. Okay. So that if any mistakes happen, you hear it right away, you see how we correct it and you just listen to us craft. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. Let's show them the design. Yes, please. All right, so here's your design. It's the design we made for you. Are you excited? I am. So it's it's backwards, which freaks me out a little. And it says, a friend who understands your tears is much more valuable than a lot of friends who only know your smile. That's a beautiful statement. It really is. Okay, so here's how I check to see if mine fit right. The first thing I do is I take my snow globe, a uh, plug for myself. This is my design with the two holes because more holes are more fun. We'll get into the details later. Wrap your design around the snow globe. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of give it a give it a good old wrap. Yep. And so then you're gonna want to see kind of where it lays out, and then if you tip it up because oh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Because we're just checking about the size and fit. If you look through the cup, and I'm just gonna show it on camera really fast you can kind of see how it overlaps. And you see here, you just need to trim down. If you look down here mm -hmm. in the cup, you can see here's your two edges of the design, but you can see there's a little overlap. So then you'll just cut the excess off. Okay. So you want to cut the excess all the way down to this edge and the excess off on the bottom. And then we'll check the fit again. Uh, here is where the cut comes down. So it goes this way. So don't cut your butterflies off. 
you want it right there. Perfect. And then push hard. You can do it. Look at that. Wait. Because <laughs> I don't think I got the top part. The first oh, okay. Time. Look, you did such a good job. It's so straight. What I'm looking for, you can see here and here is like the little trough mm -hmm. that the blade runs through. So you want to make sure your butterfly on both edges isn't in the trough because otherwise you'll kind of like nick it off. So go ahead and do, I'll hold it down. You do it again. Push hard. Oh, do it again. There you go. Perfect. This one we bought from Amazon. Don't ask me where I got my cutter because I honestly don't know. And it sometimes doesn't work right. So then we're going to do the same thing here. And because this is the bottom and I designed it this way, you can cut over just a hair on this one and it won't change the design. But then you make sure you get a nice smooth cut. So there you go. Oh, uh, so. Let's not do it that way. Yeah, it's picky. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Should be pretty darn close. Ooh. So that can all overlap. But here's where, um, look up at the top. So the top is hanging over your edge a little mm -hmm. bit, but your words don't. Mm -hmm. So we can do one of two things. We can scoot it down a little and cut off some of the bottom. Mm hmm which I would recommend so you make sure that all of your flat or all of your words are right on the cup. Okay. You don't want them close to the edge because that will cause ghosting. And okay. so then what we can do is we can just cut the butterflies off and scoot them down a little. Okay. Sound good? I kind of have problems. <laughs> Cutting straight lines. Cutting straight lines. <laughs> it's one of them. So when I'm going to cut this out, I'm just going to cut your two butterflies off the edge because honestly, those there's a bunch of dead space. We can adjust it however we need to, mm -hmm. which then means get off of there. We can cut this extra space down to ensure that we have all of the words on the cup itself. I try to design all of my wraps so that you have some of this space to play because it makes it so much easier for the design. Now, a lot of people don't like designs like that and that's perfectly fine. I'm a lazy crafter, so that's what I do. So go ahead and try that on your cup now. And off the side, I'm just gonna trim her butterflies down. Other way, you're, well, oh, I see what you're doing, Never mind. Nope, keep doing you, keep doing you. Look at that. That looks really good. Mm -hmm. Are you happy with that? I am. Okay. So this should be easier for you to decide how to tack down because now it's much straighter. Question. Yes, ma'am. So why do you not want it to wrinkle at the bottom? You don't want it to wrinkle at the bottom because it will keep the extra air will keep it from pressing cleanly. Okay. And because our design goes all the way around the bottom, you want to make sure that you have a clean press. So when I start taping my tumblers, I'm going to come right up here. This is the highest part of the design. And that's the part that I want to make sure we get down perfectly. So I'm going to come up on this edge and make sure I tack it down and then hold it with my finger. This can go over a little bit. It's just the top of the T. And I can see where it ends through the, you see where it's shining through. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if the rest of this part wrinkles because that's not where the ink it needs to transfer. But I really want to make sure the words transfer well. So I'm going to tape all around and make sure that it's not going to move. So then I'm going to go all the way around. And then I'm also going to do this edge, keeping in mind, I still have to put the butterflies on so I don't want the tape to go too far over. Okay. So the same concept, where would you tape? this side there's no wrong answer here correct so go ahead i'm gonna make you do this i'm only helping a little i wasn't paying attention how to disperse your tape oh <laughs> yeah twist i mean, automatically cuts it for you this is a nice doohickey machine for tape i need this in my life 
Amazon's, I'll link it. It will not be an affiliate link, but I will link the one that I have. I don't do Amazon storefront affiliates. Perfect. Yep. You can't tape wrong. It's more forgiving than you think. So then what you're going to do, leaving up here where the, where the empty space is blank, I want you to tape what you feel comfortable with. There's no wrong answer here around the bottom. Keep in mind, the less air around where the ink is transferring, the better off you are. I'm going to let you do that on camera. You're doing great. I'm going to turn the press on. I press my designs at 350 degrees for 60 seconds, three times. So for 180 seconds, and I rotate it every 60 seconds. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your tape can be wrinkly. It's okay. Oh, I didn't want that piece of air. It's okay. That's good. Keep good going. Job. You got it. See, you have a great, this, you have. See? No, that's fine. Is it? Yeah, because the design on the inside, like if you look through, it's not going to be a design that inherently matters. Okay. You just want, you want contact with the, with the paper. Okay. Which you have. Very, very, very well done. So now the important part is the butterflies. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to put these beautiful butterflies? So I would put this one and this one somewhere like this. Only because we have an open butterfly on this side and a like whatever you want. Like one. A that? close one. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Pick your poison. I'll hold it for you so you can tape where you want this one. Right where you have your hand. Okay. Tape that puppet down. Shut up. Shut. <laughs> Wonder Bob. Hush, we're getting to it. We're getting to it. I'm just going to turn it on. <laughs> um, yeah. About like that. Paper down. Your finger can't be a part of the butterfly now. What? You don't want Becca skin on your design? I don't. I don't want Becca skin on your design. That sounds painful. Please don't stick me in a... Okay, so now because you don't have a lot as far as design goes, I'm honestly just going to tape right here down mm -hmm. over the butterfly wing. Same here. And you can have tape overlap. And then right here, just so that this design stays like flat. And mm -hmm. you have one more itty bitty butterfly right here. Then you can see there's no design in there. So now you're fully pressed. Or fully taped. Can you say, help? Help. Good job. Ask Miss Misha to speak. Can you help me, Miss Misha? I sure can. Mm. Oh, that's my one. How about this? <gasps> that's a little. Go ahead, put it in. You were first to say two ounces. That's good job. Two ounces. That is point three. We need to tap off the edges so it doesn't get all over the table. Correct. And all over the phone. Yep. Do you want more of this purple? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. It's going to be so uh, pretty. Ah, uh, I jumped it on the scale. Yes, okay. Thank you for helping me. All right, that's half an ounce. Are you going to keep doing more? Good job, Aiden. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should we go for another glitter? Mm -hmm. Oh, ah. it's okay. It's oh. okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Guess what? Happened. We're both wearing glitter. You want mommy Who to Who doesn't it love off? it? What do we say when accidents happen, Aiden? Uh, help. Yep. And what else do we say? Uh, it's okay. Accidents uh, happen. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? Let's keep in the purple family. Oh, we should go with that one. Let's do, yeah. do you want to do this one and that one on the end? Yeah. Do you, want all, do you want all fine or do you want chunky and fine? All of them. All fine? Mm -hmm. okay. All fine. So this one and that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. It was like all fine. Okay. But the empty glasses is going to be Let's empty. let Miss Misha put this one in. Does that sound like a good deal? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's help her. 
Okay, so I just stick the spoon oh, in. Oh, there's one on me. That's okay. Okay, so. And then. Do you know how to do it? Is this how I scoop? Yeah, but not too big or you'll spill on you again. Okay, not mm. too big. Okay. Be careful not to spill it on the okay, tray again. I got it. And now it's the thing. Now it's top it. Oh, well. One point one. We're halfway there. Yeah. Do you want more of this one, or do you want a different color? A different color. Different okay. color. Yeah. Okay. Mommy's gonna put this lid on. Mm -hmm. Good job, baby girl. Look at it mixed with a purple. Yep. work. Do a big scoop. A little one since I don't need it to be big. Oh, okay. Good job. Are you all done? Mm -hmm. Put okay. that Mommy down. has an idea. <gasps> Take that good off me. Idea. Take that good off me. Take that good off. Do you want to put this one in? Yeah. Okay. It's better. It is great. Okay. It's super good. It's super good? Mm hmm And it'll go look good in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. okay. Hurry up. <gasps> Done. <laughs> Can you see me say that's all? That's it? Yeah. We did it. High five. Bam. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's, it's fine. We just gotta. We got more. It's okay. It's <laughs> again. Sorry. Really good. Do I have ounces? What happens now, Aiden? Is this your favorite part? Yeah. What do we do? Do we stir? Yeah. Do we stir gentle together? Yeah. It's looking pretty, Miss Nisha. It is, Aiden. It's <gasps> like we make that together. It's like purple. Yes! It's all shades of purple. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. It's sparkling. I think you picked some really good colors for Aiden. What do you think? Oh, Peanut, it's the real pretty glitter. Smell mixed? You want to check it? It looks like Silver? unicorn dust. Yeah, unicorn Anyone dust. Anyone who tells you you can't custom mix ultra fines is lying to you. Yep, That's we'll keep that one in the family. You want me to keep this one in the family? Mm -hmm. All right. What do you tell Miss Misha for her first glitter mix? Thank you. How about good job? Good job. It's just zero. Only on my hand, it adds pressure. Okay. Mm -hmm. With this little. A little bit more. Yeah, and four. Oh, good tap. That's good. That's okay. good. That's uh, good. It's four. It's four. Oh, are you trying to get to five? None more. I'm more. Going to six. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. Okay, good job. Now let's add some. Of the other color I wanted. What color? Well, the that one. Oh, that's the best color. That is one of my other favorite colors, and my other one was a red. Well, we're gonna let Miss Misha do the purple. Yeah, you guys can make this one together. To add one color or two colors. A pretty good color. Yeah, it's gonna be one cool color. It's dirty, so it's dirty, it's dirty. It's dirty, it's dirty. Ooh, that is careful. really pretty. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Okay. Good job, Andrew. That's <laughs> good. Be careful. Can Mama make a suggestion? Yes. You can pick any color you want. Let's put this one and this one in with it. 
Or we go try the gold. This one? Yeah. In the other kind of gold is the color. Let's do, if we're going to do that one, then let's do these two. Yep. Okay, we're going to do this one first. Here you go. And then we'll add some more. Yeah. Or colors. We're going to two ounces. We're doing four colors all together. Yep. Make that six. Trade. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Focus. I'll do it. Okay, let's get digging. I'm digging like a drill. I said I'm digging like a drill. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. We should tell mom thanks because that was a nice add to our cover. Right. Thanks, mom. Careful. Oh, that's too much. Now stop, stop. We're going to two ounces, remember? We're going to 22, actually. And now it's time to mix. Now it's time to mix. Go ahead. Got your spoon. Add a tape. Add a tape. Add a tape. Add a tape. Don't remember their glass phones. Add a tape. 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 Let's just move in the same spot. Like I am. Following you. Through. Oof, we started to run into each other. Yeah. 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 It's like yeah, your so. it's like your car <laughs> on its track trying to bounce over the ball. <laughs> right? I'm trying oh, to it looks like bubble gum. <laughs> it looks like some. Wait. It looks like bubble gum. I want to see. Look at all the Look at all the seeds. Yeah, ones. look at it. When we that push looks so good, Andrew. Look how hard when we push. That adds a lot of force. It does add a lot of force. All right, are you done mixing? Almost. Oh, okay. Let's right, make what? it even more. No, this is good. Whoa, it looks like a lot of mixing. Yeah, look. We made that together. I want to see. <laughs> Mom is really proud of you, buddy. Thank you for helping me. What about the, the sorting part? No. This thing. The glitter thing. Look how heavy we made it. All right. Go ahead and peel. You can't do it wrong. Just start somewhere. All right, so now that we have let everything cool, we've mixed our glitter. You've heard from the babies, which this was a really fun way to include the kids in this, I feel, because I never put the kids on my content anymore, so that was pretty exciting for me. I am going to put, a, oh, no. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of this glitter and some of Keller Lake in, and mix it up, and I'm going to have it ready for her to put in her mixture. I'll let you do the other one while I clean up. So what you're gonna need to do the mixture, and the reason that I recommend the Advancing Aiden Snow Globes, one, because I'm a genius in their my design. Just saying. Um, but the reason I did them is because I struggled really, really hard with snow globes in general. And I struggled with them because I couldn't figure out how to fill them effectively. They took too long, in my opinion. They were difficult. Um, so I started doing the acrylic, and then I saw somewhere on YouTube that someone was like, oh, I drilled two holes because more, more airflow. Like, and I was like, damn, that makes sense. What do you think of your design? We'll wash it when we're done. I did that. You did do that. Pat myself on the back. Yes, pat yourself on the back. So the next part, you need UV resin, a UV light, both of which I have. You're going to need... So I don't even use gloves when I do it. And then I have double-sided tape and we have glitter, mm -hmm. clear school glue, hot water. Mm -hmm. And, and that's kind of it. This next part's going to go super quick. She likes a slow flow. So this bottle is really hard to film. I can't really do a good job, but it's to right here on the bottle. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of your paint right on top of the glue it's gonna take two of those bottles to fill this snow globe all the way just fyi a mm, little bit more that should be good so then we took the purple that you mixed with aiden and added a little color lake see how it's now mm -hmm. what i'm gonna do eh, we're just gonna wing it I was like, I'm going to get a funnel. No, I'm not. 
This is about a half ounce of glitter, which is a fair amount of glitter going in this snow globe. Sorry, I was making an inappropriate joke. This is why you can't have me for a friend because I'm inappropriate. AF. Just ask my husband. That's why he married me. My personal preference is to add the, the paint, the fluid, and the glue, and the glitter. Then add water. Okay. So hot water is better. Here's my hot water. I use it straight from the tap. If you have bad water, maybe don't. That's between you and your water source. Um, so add water to about a three quarters of the way about right here you got it you got this you can do it and if you make a mess i have a stack of paper towels thank you because I'm, I'm a messy mess. craft i'm a messy craft a short stuff <laughs> here's my glitter here's my okay i didn't think that all the way <laughs> I'm not musically inclined in the slightest, so don't look at me. Okay. So then this is the lid. Uh, one of the things I do recommend is cleaning the threads because I have exploded it on me before. Put the lid on, make sure it's screwed on all the way. And then gently shake back and forth. Ooh. What do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah that's it you like it yes okay so couple things when you use the um condiment bottles with glitter in them it might explode on you when you take the top off after you mix it so i always crack the threads to get release the pressure and then you take the lid off oh. so doesn't look like you have much in here this is a a thick mixture though, because you wanted a super slow flow. Mm -hmm. So this first round that we put in here, you can pick whichever hole you want. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna upend this and slowly squeeze. You like both holes, so nope, other way. No, I was just oh, gonna. You can do it that way too. Does it matter how fast or slow I'm squeezing? No. And you just want angles so it slows down. If because you have chunky glitter in here, if you're having a hard time, you have to flip it back up because it's such a slow flow. Your chunky will get stuck in your nozzle. So then just yeah, tap it. There you go. Oh, maybe I angle it for you. There you go. Oh, that's a lot better. Is oh, easier than you expected? Yes. I remember when I tried to do, I didn't want to do snow globes. I was like, everyone's doing snow globes. You know what I wanted to do? Because I love making snow globes for Christmas. So what I'm going to recommend, and I should have thought about this with the design. It's going to be hard to see this design. So on the next one, I think we should put white paint in. Okay. Um, Because that'll... And I will put some more glue in here if okay. you like this flow. I do. This has no glitter, white glue, hot water. Shake that puppy up. Oh, we're leaking. <laughs> you could always wear gloves, but it's just really not that bad. I'm super excited to see this in there now. Are you excited? Yes, ma'am. I realize that this is going to sound a lot like us being on a live together. Without, like, the live. Well, like, duh, Becca. I'm on crack. Oh, see, yes. Look at the design now behind the white. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so excited. This is such a good design. I'll angle it for you. It should flow really nicely for you. We'll shake it up and then it'll all mix. That's why I put extra paint in. 
so that it would uh not be too op um too thin. Careful. Whoop. Okay, so you're pretty close to full. So what I'm going to do before we fill you up is you can do this or I can do it. Do you want me to do it since I've practiced mm -hmm. with the two holes? Okay. So what you want to do is because we want to check to see her flow in this tumbler mm -hmm. and to see what the paint looks like because we still have room to make adjustments. I plug my fingers. This one is going to... Oh. Look at that. This is going to take a minute to mix, but I think this is going to look really good. And then we're going to shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, I think you're going to be just fine. Something. Yeah, you're going to be just fine. What do you think? Yep. Okay. So before you put that in, though, mm -hmm. my secret tip. Oh, I get the secret tip. You do get a secret tip. You get a syringe, 91% alcohol. Pop it right in. And then just squeeze. Don't want too much alcohol. Perfect. Just like that. It can all go in. You could use another um watch my dingy. Did you see how fast all those bubbles popped at the top? Mm-hmm. So then I just do it like this so I can kind of see a little better. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put our first cover on the two holes. Okay. So you're going to clean super, super well. Perfect. And then you're gonna take this one with alcohol on it and do a quick wipe. Perfect. We're gonna let it dry for just a second while I test. This is Gorilla uh, silicone Gorilla glue tape. Let me see which way fits this better. Okay. I'm gonna cut one side off for you. This is super easy. Could not be easier. I'm gonna peel it off. Here's your edge. And you're gonna stick it on. Only one side's tacky. Make sure you get all of the hole. So do I put it on the tacky side? The tacky side down, yeah. And push like your life depends on it. And then up here on that edge, yeah, just like that. Editing, Becca, I love that we got quieter and quieter as we went on. This is super moldable and pretty forgiving. So now what you can do with the rest of your white is you can angle your cup this way. Okay. And you can fill it the rest of the way. And because this hole is larger than the hole of the condiment bottle, you still get that airflow if you push slow enough. So you'll be able to fill super full. Now pull your tip out just a little and keep going just like that. A little more. Doing really good. Now, yep, keep going. Oh. Could work. Not that one. Oh, it's going down. Yeah, but I'm impatient. Because you have an air pocket there. Which is why we have And then the last part that you do is not the bottle, actually, but more alcohol which is why you have a tiny syringe. Okay. So then what you try to do is get that air pocket right there. And then you just keep feeding it in. This part, if you go slow enough, you can get absolutely no air pocket. Just like that. So I showed you one. Now you do the rest. So your air pocket's in the middle, bring it back up to buy the hole. 
So angle, perfect, just like that. And then squeeze your syringe. Oh, you have to squeeze the bulb part of it. Perfect. You unkeyed it? You did. So it's a small, so you have actually more space in it than I thought. So I'm going to give you the bigger one. Right here. I'll angle you. There you go. And Still editing back up the focus. I love it. You can go in. Almost there. A little bit more. You have absolutely no air pocket now. Look at you. I'll get that. Look at that. You have no air pocket whatsoever. Oh, nice. Same idea as before. Clean it all the way off. This one has the alcohol on it. And then we're going to check our size. I always go a little on the bigger side. Mm -hmm. Sticky side down. Go for it. You can always rotate it if it's easier for you to see that way. Was that harder than you thought to seal? No. Okay. Let's see what you got. What do you think? I think I made a small plate. I think you did too. So you shake this up while I get everything squared away for the UV resin. Okay, so to seal the snow globe, you're gonna do two rounds of UV resin. I have my UV resin. I have my heat torch and because we are on a tight time line and we still need to feed Misha dinner, <laughs> I'm going to do the UV resin for this one. So what I do is I use this kind of like a like pencil, if you will, and I go around the outside. Isn't that a song? Around the outside, around the outside. Sounds like a Slim Shady song. <laughs> and then I put a little bit in the middle. Same thing here. And this just really gives me a good, like, I just feel more confident in the seal this way. You don't have to do it this way. And then in the middle. So then I abuse the heat torch. Watch your eyebrows. And I heat it up. Then I just kind of, now that it's warm, it kind of flows really nicely. If it doesn't do what I want just with the heat, I manipulate it with a popsicle stick. And I put popsicle sticks somewhere safe. <laughs> when I cleaned my office, lo and behold, popsicle sticks. All of a sudden I was afraid I hadn't started the filming. So then I just get a nice coverage like this. And really all you're looking for is full coverage on the top and you're trying to bring the UV resin um, into a nice slope, if you will, around the tape, because the tape is a little thick. And so this is going to help when you're going to level the bottom of your cup. Because there's always a little divot from where you, you may have felt it when you were pressing the tape on. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to basically do is just fill that little space in. So I'm not doing it and putting a super thick layer all over the cup. So then in my second layer, it'll just give me a nice smooth flat bottom. I got you. Make sense? Mm hmm So. That looks pretty darn good. I'm going to heat it because I added a little bit of extra UV resin. And I just get down at an angle so that I can see. I'm like, yeah, that looks pretty flat. Then we're going to use the UV light for 60 seconds just like this. So now what I've done or what I'm doing is filling in the rest of this. And so what I'm going to do is come right up to this edge on both sides of that UV like patch. I don't know what to call it. You guys, you only go like lightly. I didn't even come up all the way around here. I think you are getting a phone call. Sorry. Oh, you're good. 
And I'm going to fill in the excess over here so we get a nice level playing field. And now that I have everything where I want it, I'm going to put a little bit on each of these patches that I did before. We're going to hit it again with the heat. And here's the one thing that these are a little bit harder to do than the acrylics is there's no lip to catch it. So I just like to make sure that I don't run over the edge. This is looking really good, but I still see some low spots. So I'm going to come in with a little more UV resin here and right here. Can you see the low spots over my shoulder? There's one right here. Mm -hmm. Low spots are just as dangerous as high spots and will make your, your cup bottom rock. So what you're looking for is as a consistent layer as possible. Always, always, always hit it with the heat torch because you'll be able to flow it a little bit better. And you can see a low spot develop right there. And another low spot right. I have to let you know this whole time editing, I was irritated because I saw that spot on the camera. I was like, do I ever get it? I'm very slow with this part. I have found that when I rush this bottom layer is when my cup bottoms rock. And then I wind up having to do more work anyway to level it out because you have to sand it and all of that super fun stuff. So I would rather just take a little bit of extra time right off the top. And essentially get it right the first time. That looks really good. And then I'm just going to rotate it to make sure I don't have any leaking off the edge. <laughs> that was bad. Got a little spot that isn't quite round enough right there. I just didn't like what it looked like. And since you're taking it, I want it to be perfect. See how that looks? Mm -hmm. And then again with the whatchamadingy. dingy. So in true Becca fashion, I did not realize that we didn't do the outro for the YouTube video. So you get Becca, in case you were wondering, I edit on my bed just like this. Uh, the cup turned out beautiful. I'm going to put the photo of it right here. I cannot thank Misha enough for coming up and visiting. We were so tired that day. We were leaving early in the morning to go to girls weekend and we hadn't eaten and it was like 7.30 when we finished editing or filming the video. Thank you so much, Misha. It was a pleasure having you. Anyway, here's the video. I promise I'll do better next time on the collab. Actually, I promise that and I probably won't. But anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. It's been great. This is Becca at Advancing Aiden. Bye.